in this lesson, we are going to talk about layer mask. Layer mask is very important for digital artists in Photoshop. I know sometimes when you look at the functions of layer mask, you feel like, why don't I just make use of the eraser tool? Yeah, it is very true. You can make use of the eraser tool, but I'm going to quickly show you the difference between the layer mask and the eraser tool and also add the extra functions that's included with the layer mask that is going to make you understand that you have to stick with the layer mask in some certain aspect than making use of the eraser tool. Here I have this photo right here, which we have been using in previous lessons. Now, if I add a layer mask to this photo by coming down to this part right here and clicking on this add layer mask icon, it is going to add a layer mask for me with a white color as a thumbnail. Now, first thing you need to understand about the layer mask is that we have two types of layer mask in Photoshop. We have the regular layer mask and we have the inverted layer mask. To achieve the inverted layer mask, you want to hold down alternate on your keyboard and click on the layer mask to add the inverted layer mask, which is the black layer mask. Now, the quick difference between these two layer masks is that when you apply the white layer mask, you have the option to hide the particular areas where you want to hide on your photo or on that particular layer, you add the layer mask. And why the black layer mask hides everything automatically for you and you have the option to reveal the areas which you want to reveal on that particular layer. This is the difference between the black and the white layer mask. Now let's take a look at the basic function of the layer mask. If I come down to this part and add a layer mask, you see by default, it has the white as the default. When you apply, when you apply the layer marks to a particular layer, you have the option to work with only two color, which is the white and the black. I'm going to explain that in a bit. Now, when we have this layer mark selected at this point, you work with the brush to alone. That is, if you want to erase from your photo or that particular layer, you work with the brush tool alone. And if you want to reveal, you still make use of the brush tool. So when I go over to the toolbar and select the brush tool here, when I increase the size of the brush by holding down the Alt key on my keyboard, if I erase, you can see nothing is going on right here. I have the layer mask selected. I don't have the thumbnail selected. If I have the thumbnail selected of my picture, you can see that I can paint over the picture itself. But right here, I have the layer mask selected. But when I paint, nothing is happening here. What exactly is going on right here? The reason why nothing is happening right here is because of our color picker right here. You can see that what I have on the color picker, it's the white as the foreground color. When I have this white as a foreground color, it simply means that whatever I have on this layer mask, it's going to be revealed. Remember what we did at first. When we apply the white layer mask, we still have our photo visible. And the moment we apply the inverted layer mask, which is the black, you notice that everything we have on our layer was hidden. So since we have the white right here as the foreground color, and we have the white right here as a layer mask, when you look at our photo right now, you can see that the photo is being revealed. Now we will paint with the white on our layer. We won't be able to hide anything. But the moment we come down to this part and switch the, the foreground color to black, when I paint, you can see now that I am hiding something right here. So now let's take a look at this. If I go over to my toolbar and select the and select the regular eraser tool, when I come down to this place and I select the layer itself and I paint, you can see that I am erasing. But now what is the difference between this layer mask and the default eraser tool in Photoshop? With the layer mask, I have the option to delete. I have the option to erase and bring back what I erase with the layer mask. So let's quickly take a look at that. If I select the layer mask and go back and select the brush tool with the foreground color set to black, if I erase from here, you can see on the layer mask that I have black. The place that I have black on the layer mask simply means the place that is hidden on my photo. Now, if I go back to my color picker and switch to white, if I paint over those areas, I will be able to bring those areas that I erased back. But with the eraser too, when I paint over the areas I want to erase, if I go back again, I paint, it erases more. It doesn't really matter the color that I selected. Now, one thing you need to understand is that when you have the layer selected, you have the regular colors you picked in Photoshop. But let's say I pick something like a green, um, a lemon color right here, and I select something like a blue. I click on OK. You can see now that I have a lemon and um, 
a blue color right here now if i select the layer mask what happened both colors switched to black and white which simply means that in this mode i can only paint with these two color and white reveals why black hide now let's go in depth with the layer mask let me undo this thing that i do right yeah now there are some certain options attached to the layer mask so now with the layer mask selected i paint with the black that means i erase some areas now let's say i'm working on something in particular i just want to quickly check those areas that i erase to verify that okay this area this area that i erase it's something that i'm not going to use or it's something that i'm going to use later on how am i going to check that now if you go back to this part and switch the color to white you are going to review those areas now do you have to do this all the time now you really review the areas and you start deleting again when you review all the whole areas you find out that the areas you, you are revealing are the areas which you actually want to delete that you don't need all the areas which you want to hide now you start painting again to hide all those layers well it is very easy instead of you doing that painting with the brush and doing that is very stressful come down to the layer panel hover your mouse on the thumbnail of the layer mask hold on the shift and click on the layer mask when you click on the layer mask you find out that we have this x icon on the layer mask right here which simply means that for now the layer mask is not activated when you look at your photo or the layer that you deactivate the layer mask you can see that the place you erase it's no more visible now when you look at the layer mask you can see that we still have that black area which we erase but it's no longer visible on our layer itself why because we disable the layer mask and when i hold down on shift again and click on the layer mask you can see now that that place it's now showing now for for a moment you can disable the layer mask and also enable the layer mask depending on the way you want to work in photoshop photoshop mask is very very versatile to do whatever it is you want to do now it doesn't really end there there are some extra functions which are very important for someone who is really working with a layer mask most people don't know this. they just feel like the layer mask is all about clean and review when you hold on the alt alternate on your keyboard and click on the layer mask it is going to take you into the layer mask from here you will be able to see what you've done with the layer mask i'm going to click and go out of the layer mask you can see right here that when you look at this particular area here you can see that we have this part not erased completely but you can't tell because we are having it on a transparent background now when we go into the layer mask you can see the place we erase properly and the place we did not erase properly now what i'm going to do i will undo this and go back into the main document i'm working on i'm going to create a solid color layer and let's say i'm going to make it white drag it down now you can see these areas will not delete very well you can also select the layer mask grab the brush tool and erase this part very well now when you hold down alt and it click and go into the layer mask from here you can properly adjust the areas which you want to delete so now i can now select the black and come over to this place with the brush tool selected i am going to paint over these areas now when i hold down the other need and click on the layer mask to go back into the main document i'm working on you can see that we no longer have the layer mask here now let's take a look at the inverted layer mask when we hold on the other need and click on the layer mask to add an inverted layer mask you find out that everything we have here disappear now to start bringing them back you want to go over to your color picker area switch the color back to white as a foreground color and now you can start painting to review the areas which you want to review just like this there is another thing attached to the layer mask let's assume we make use of a hard round brush let me right click and select a hard round brush you notice that the edge we have is very sharp now how can you do this now you can fix this at first by making use of a soft round brush like what i did before but if you want to fix this you can go over to the feathering option and increase the feathering a little bit take a look at these areas right here let me undo this let me quickly undo that take a look at the area right here look at the edge you can see how sharp the edge is looking right now if i go over to the feather option and i increase the feather so much now take a look at this it is very visible right here you can see how feathered the edge is looking so let's assume you forget to fix this with the brush whenever you are painting you can also come down to this area 
and reduce the feather. Now, what happens to the density? This density controls how transparent you want the marks to be on that particular layer. So let's say I don't want you to cover every area, but I want it to show, but I just want to keep the face in focus while other part is still revealed. Now the face is already in focus right here, but the other part of the photo are not showing. How am I going to do that? I can come down to the density right here and reduce this, the density to let's say around 50%. Now you can see what is going on right here. The place that I pen over is visible and why the areas that I did not pen over, it's not as visible as the area that I pen over. This is just the basic function of the layer mask, which you really need to understand. You might not use all this whenever you are working in Photoshop, but it is very important for you to know all these steps and how to properly make use of the layer mask because you don't know the kind of situation you are going to find yourself whenever you are working. The only option left for you to make use of, it's going to be one of all these options. Well, that is it on the layer mask. And in the next lesson, we are going to take a look at how we can apply light and shadows to our artwork or wherever it is we are working on. See you guys in the next lesson.